All right. So now a uh, third type of uh, uh, design of experiments is uh, uh, called the Latin hypercube. This is a very interesting way of doing things. It is essentially uh, performing a sampling like this. If I have several different levels for factorial uh, factor one and the several different levels for factor two. Okay. Uh, in particular, this is uh, quite useful when I have same number of levels for the different factors. A Latin hypercube tries to capture the, some of the interaction effects while having exactly the same number or uh, the same uh, complexity as parameter study. So how does it achieve that? It achieves that by basically having for each level of factor two, I want to just perform one simulation or one evaluation. Also, for every level of F2, I also want to just perform a single evaluation. So, Latin Hypercube tries to fill the grid with one evaluation per row and one evaluation per column. Let me give you an example. I can perform a simulation here, a simulation here, a simulation here, a simulation here, and a simulation here, and that's it. See what I have achieved. One simulation per level of factor one, one simulation per level of factor two, right? But I have scattered the simulations in a semi-random way. What I mean by semi-random is that uh, uh, there are multiple choices of uh, which uh, which level to evaluate, right? For uh, for factor two, uh, for the first level of factor one, right? So I can I can easily choose a different. Uh, uh, different configuration. For example, I can perform one evaluation here, one evaluation here, one evaluation here, one evaluation here, and uh, uh, one evaluation here. Right? That's another possible adding hypercube. So between all of these, I can choose a semi randomly, and there are algorithms to help doing this. Okay, and uh, this kind of a semi randomness has uh, some advantages. It preserves some of the nice properties of uh, pure random sampling. It also has nice properties of uh, uh, more uh, organized or more regular sampling. So for example, if you want to estimate the effect of factor one, for example, you can basically then simply plot the output versus factor one, right? If, for example, factor two has very little impact, F factor one is the primary uh, parameter that makes the output change, then you may get for the five different levels, you may get a linearly increasing uh, output, right? Then you know factor one has uh, the effect of increasing the output as you increase factor one. So, so basically, you get uh, uh, you you may be able to recover both some parameter effect and some interaction effect from such a Latin hypercube sampling. All right. So, so this is a, a very uh, quick introduction to design of the experiment, and uh, in the next lecture, we are going to talk a little bit more about uh, the design of the experiment and in particular, how do we analyze the effects of parameters or the, the uh, main effects and the interaction effects of uh, different parameters. And then we are start, we'll start to discuss uh, optimization, right? Uh, how do we optimize 
the parameters of a system. How do we optimize something we can control to maximize a performance or minimize a loss that we can compute from a simulation. I'll see you next week.